Hi Aries, how are you guys? Just want to do a real quick reading. Actually, wasn't planning on doing reading. Um, sat down to play with some cards. I was going to do a... I was actually going to do a Sagittarius reading, but somehow this came through for Aries, and so I feel a pull. Super tired, going to make it quick, but I just didn't want to leave. I got this coming through for Aries, so... Let's dive in. It's going to be a love reading, I think. Could be, could apply. You got to, you know, apply it to whatever. But you got somebody that feels regret. I was asking for a personal message from the person. So you've got personal regret. Somebody feel or somebody feels remorse for the way they treated you. External force is intruding. I think you guys know that though. And you need to wait. Don't make a move. The timing is not right. I'm not sure. I don't really feel like I need to pull another one. Um, I feel like this might be you. Financial challenges are affecting this. I feel like that might be you and your, um, there might be some elements of you beating yourself up over finances and that might be an area where you need to let go. So if you're feeling you're not good enough because you're not where you want to be financially, I think that might be something you, you need to let go of. Um, but let's go ahead and lay out a tarot spread. How are you guys? I am so tired. So if you guys have been with me for a while, you know I went through a big crash this past year, last year. You know, and a big realization of, oh my gosh, so much shadow work and dealing with shadows. My shadows were pretending to be okay. It was toxic positivity, burying trauma, and I had to deal with that, so... Um, pretty painful, but we're going to deal with stuff like this on this channel. We're going to be very real on this channel because that's my pull. It's not just tarot. We're going to incorporate healing, hope, the tough stuff, you know, stuff that matters. So you've got the lovers that's making a decision. Ooh, man. There's an element of reconciliation and a decision. Somebody wants a second chance or is going to. In the recent past, we have Five of Swords, lots of conflict. I feel like there's gonna have to be a major element of forgiveness here. This is something that's been very painful, very difficult to deal with, let go. And, and again, we get an element here with the Hermit of not taking a move, not making a move, um, seeking enlightenment, growth, personal growth. Oh, you guys might get an apology. Somebody feels guilty. Did I put those back? Yeah, let's keep that out. For letting something else interfere. Timing isn't right, though. You've had an inner, okay, I think the reason this has been so difficult for you is because you've had an inner knowing that things weren't going the way they were supposed to, possibly because of interference. Which is why, Aries, you tried so hard and kept giving, unequal giving though unequal somebody wasn't reciprocating but you gave more thinking that that would help balance it out but it i don't feel like it worked so tarot's advice if you choose to take it is move towards you know this is two of wands this is a crossroad it's moving towards what is going to be the best route for you okay regardless of this So I gotta tell you something really freaky that happened. So I've been going through major, you know, trying to grow and deal and, you know, I've had a lot of imposter syndrome going on where I feel like, who am I kidding? You know, I'm a mess and here I am trying to teach and um, questioning everything. You know, my finances hit, hit a really scary place. I'm, 
and but there are but I've always been a great manifester so I just want to tell you this real quick so I um, I manifested I asked for I wanted to have somebody in my path come to come in my path that was like on my level of wanting to help people and you know has some spiritual gifts but isn't ashamed of them or scared you know of being judged by them that's my big thing i have a safety issue i, I realized i had some abuse in my past had to deal with that still trying to deal with it work through it i'm, I'm learning processes that i'm going to share but um so i asked for signs and sure enough the universe sent me somebody in my real life that I can feel I can feel very comfortable talking to you about things that doesn't judge and I'm, I've got a fear of being judged and then you know because I was shamed as a child I would never feel I was never made to feel safe so I am getting down to the bottom of it and it boils down to never feeling safe as a child you know um, I met somebody that has been through so much of what I've been through and then I also came across a spiritual, you know, kind of a um, wellness coach that teaches all the things that resonate with me, but she also believes, she's also a medium, so she gets, she gets the, you know, the weird, the weirdness of it, right? So it was like, okay, wow, so this is spirit definitely answering me, and then today, one of her, one of her podcasts I was listening to said, you know, um, said that she asked for signs. So I asked for signs and you guys, this is the freakiest thing, but I asked for signs and then I was, you know, came, I was on a, on a walk and I was asking for signs and I, you know, from spirit to help me know I'm on the right path. And, you know, like I have fear that I'm going to lose my house because of money and I'm going to, you know, I have all this fear and I was like, am I on the right path? But part of me wants to keep going on this path, even though it's scary financially. I just feel like I'm supposed to keep going on this path. But it's like, you know, am I just burying my head in the sand? Am I going to lose my, you know what I mean? You don't want to, you don't want to, it's a, it's a hard balance. It's like, I feel like I, I feel like intuitively I'm supposed to continue on this path because I do have a pull to reach a lot of people and, and help a lot of people grow and heal. But at the same time, I have responsibilities. I have kids. I have a house payment, you know. And I was just kept asking for a sign. And I was cleaning. So an hour or so later after I asked for the sign, you know, I was walking. I came home. And this song came on. And it was so bizarre. It just kept repeating this lyric. And I don't know what the real lyric was because I've never heard the song. I don't even know if it's a real song, but it said over and over, it kept saying, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday. And because it kept repeating the same lyric is what caught my eye, is what caught my ear. And I was like, what? I started listening closer and I swear she was singing, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday, you're safe Tuesday. And she was saying you're safe in my name. And I'm sure that's not the real lyrics of the song, but I'm pretty sure the song wouldn't repeat that same line, you know, 20 times either. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then I thought, is that like a telepathic? Is that, a, you know, is this a message for me that's coming through, you know, audio, clear audience? And so I went to my phone. It had changed songs and the next song was, it was in a different language, so I don't know what they were saying, but it was called like telepathia. And I was like, oh my gosh! I was so thankful. I was like, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Those were my signs. So I guess my point is ask for signs. Um, ask for signs, and then they'll, you know, signs will come. But spirit will absolutely partner with you. You know, this inner knowing is something that you've known. And I think that you've known that there was something special here. You've known that there, were, there was interference. And that's what made it so hard for you to stop giving attention to it and energy to it. 
You've got a decision here. I believe this decision is take this person out of it. I couldn't, and I, I even asked, like, I even asked for some more song signs. I just dropped the deck. I asked for some more signs and didn't get them yet. Um, but we'll see. But um, anyway, I wanted to share that beautiful story with you guys. Just, I mean, amazing. I mean, like, over and over and over and over your safe Tuesday, your safe Tuesday. And I was asking my question was, show me a sign that I'm on the right path. Because, you know, part of me says, go back to your job. Part of me says, um, if this isn't, you know, making enough to survive on, then it's, you know, you got to stop. Um, but there's also that pull that this is like a, a very strong purpose for me. Uh, and it's not just tarot, it's messages of hope and healing and sharing all, all my experiences that, um, and you know, I study nonstop personal growth and trauma healing processes. And so it's all about helping you guys, but I feel like that's something I can't let go of right now. All right, so you've got 10 of cups coming, happy ending. Happy life, happy life. So, okay, you're walking away from something. I think it's, you know, I think there's a struggle, an internal struggle of hoping, still hoping for communication from someone. And, but you're beating it. You're, you're going, okay, yeah, I still want that, but it's not going to be something that holds me back anymore. Yeah, you're leaving that. Two cards of leaving it. Two cards of leaving that that need. It doesn't mean it's not going to come back. It just means you're not going to let it be a tower. The unknown, not knowing, you're not going to let that be a tower anymore in your life and hold you back. That's what I feel. Can y'all hear my wine? Wait, my wine. My wind chimes. I am so tired. That's another thing. I'm like balance, going through all this stuff to balance my hormones. And that's at least calming me down and making me feel, you know, like sleepy so I can sleep. I'm actually sleeping now. I went for years without getting more than a couple hours with uninterrupted sleep. That'll make you crazy. Sleep is so important. Um, also, we get praise for doing things that are really unhealthy for us, like working too much, being too much of a go-getter. So this is cooperation, collaboration, support. I think there's somebody, there might be somebody that's going to help build you up and remind you of your value and your rock star. You, that you're a rock star in everything you've accomplished. Um... Let's get one card about how this person feels about you, and then I don't want to put too much energy into it. So, yeah, it does look like this person looks at you like carefree, and even though you're, I don't know that you have been, but they've made me feel that they feel that that is something that you're growing, an area that you're growing, but also there's new beginning energy, and it looks like communication. It looks like you're going to get communication. So, it doesn't, bottom line, you're going to get, this kept coming out too, you're going to get, um, you're, I'm sure this person is going to come forward eventually and say, you know, I messed up and there, but, but here's the important factor. They need to see you in your element and not sad and lonely. Okay. They also may have a fear you may reject them. Their new love offer, maybe you will. I think you're going to be just really strong to where you don't. Um, so this Five of Cups is turning around and see every, seeing everything you still have. Love, um, self-love, self-care, strength, self-control. You've grown, and they're going to see it. Look at that. You're going to be rewarded for this. There might be some tests. Sometimes I feel like the universe may, and I hate test isn't really the right word, but sometimes 
the universe will kind of test you to see if you're ready. And if we're not ready for our blessings, one, we'll overlook them. Four cups. There it is. Oh my gosh, four cups. We'll overlook them. We won't even see them because we're too busy focused on negative stuff. We won't even see them. So be open. Keep your hands upright. Be open. Set your intentions, right? But don't rely on uh, the outside forces for your happiness because everything you need resides inside you. This is independence. You are okay on your own. Be your own cake. You have all the ingredients you need to make a perfect cake. What happened to our focus? Anyway, you got Ten of Cups and Ten of Pentacles. Amazing. So big lesson here. Um, and the other thing is if you're not ready for, for your blessings, you won't even enjoy them. So you keep working on there's got to be that realization and that growth you got to get to that growth place of not needing something or someone to be feel fulfilled you're your own cake icing is good this other situation can come in and be icing cake with icing is better maybe you know but cake without icing is still good and you can be the cake without the icing because you are you have all the ingredients you need you're you're the magician all right let me pull an oracle wow beautiful let's do a growth card oh no moon let's do a moon card okay power <laughs> stay in your power i'm just going to cut that just where i cut the deck so power you we had it twice this is like the strength card the balancing of the lion and the lamb this is not cowarding down it's using wisdom but this strength card this person this energy does not have to engage in toxic toxic energy when it comes to low vibe situation you are a peach out of reach can't touch you okay that's where we're working that's what we're working on going victory and success here's the universe i think it has your back i do want to pull one of these even though it told me to pull that Ooh, abundance i am a I am in a limitless being. I can manifest whatever I desire in physical reality. You guys, I, you got to get over this regret thing and understand that no matter what you did or whatever, it was what, what you were, you, you were dealing, you did the best you could with what you had to deal with. Doesn't mean you don't need to grow and learn from it, but doesn't beating yourself up. You got, that's, that's a big no, no. You have big opportunities to make money. That might be. That was Callie. Callie! I don't know where she is, but she just made a noise. All right, Aries, I love you guys. Let's talk in the comments. I'm so zapped. Oh, interesting. I love myself. I see myself in everyone. I want to read this abundance card. I hope this was helpful. It was like just kind of impromptu. Always remember that you are God and God is all about creation. So when you start focusing on what you don't have, you you put put some separation between you and the universe. So we gotta we gotta pull that back in, reel that back in. In order to have abundance in all areas of your life, you must create the space of receiving. Remember I said, hold your hand open. Be ready to receive. God says yes. The ego says no. In order to have abundance in all areas of your life, you must create the space of receiving and know that you are deserving of anything your heart desires. The more you can release limited thinking and worry, the more open you are to receiving the infinite flow of the universe. Allow yourself to have fun when manifesting what you want in life and enjoy the process. By embracing a positive mindset, you are opening the door to unexpected, uh, unexpected abundance. 
is natural to have abundance in your life and you must realize any thoughts of limitlessness may have come from either a past life or a life condition you have chosen to overcome. They could also originate from programming that you received from an environment you grew up in. That's We talked about that. I've never felt safe in my life and I'm having to reprogram my mind to feel safe. And what did that song say? You are safe Tuesday. You are safe Tuesday. You are safe Tuesday. And it sounds insane, I know, but I'm telling you, I turned it up and listened carefully in that she was saying, you're safe Tuesday. Now, is that what the real song really says? No, but I was having a, uh, and, and I don't really have clear audience, you know, um, clear audience, but I had a message come through that I do have that ability and I will be getting clear audience messages. Um, and I'm telling you, that's what was crazy. You are safe Tuesday. You are safe Tuesday. You are safe Tuesday. It was such a blessing. The more you can release limited thinking, the more, the more open you are receiving the infinite flow of the universe. Allow yourself to have fun when manifesting what you want in life and enjoy the process. By embracing a positive mindset, you are opening the door to unexpected abundance. It's natural to have abundance in your life. And you must realize that any thoughts of limitlessness may come from either a past life or a life condition you chose to overcome. They could originate from programming you received from the environment you grew up in and the value systems you were taught when you were young. If you have that uh, money doesn't grow on trees type um, belief that was fed to you as a child, throw that out the door, write it down and burn it. It is not true. Actually, money does grow on trees. Money is made of paper and the universe is limitless. There is enough for you and everyone else. Now is the time to begin to live with realization that you are worthy of having abundance in every aspect of your life. When you are in the vibration of receiving, you can manifest whatever you desire in this physical reality. Love it. Love you guys. Talk to me in the comments. I'll see you soon. And um, you guys, if you're not connected or you're not subscribed, please hit subscribe. And even if you are, tap the bell, check the bell, make sure it's, it's on, okay? for notifications. Love you guys. Bye.